Hello everyone, it's James from Practice Like a Pro, providing you with simple clear guitar tips to help you on your guitar playing journey. So today we're going to talk about F chords and I'm going to give you some tips to help you with the bar chord and if you stick around to the end of the lesson I've got a great little variation that works for a lot of things. Hello everyone, it's James from Practice Like a Pro, providing you with simple clear guitar tips to help you on your guitar playing journey. So today we're going to talk about the F chord and why people find it so difficult and I'm going to give you some tips to uh, get a cleaner sound out of it. Also if you stick around to the end I've got a great workaround that works for most kind of singer songwriter acoustic strumming kind of scenarios. We're going to start with the more traditional bar chord method so I'll put a diagram on screen, you're going to bar the first fret with your index finger then with your middle finger, you're going to put it on the first fret of the G. Your ring finger is going to go on the third fret of the A. And then your pinky is going to go on the third fret of the D. Now, that's what we're going for. Chances are it sounds more like this. Now, what I want you to do initially is pick through the chord and find the, pro the problem areas. So, pick each string at once. And let's say we're not getting the notes on the very, very top. So we've got... Let's say we're missing the B and the high E. A great little tip to help you is twist your finger ever so slightly. Instead of having, instead of having this sort of flat part of your finger across the strings, make the bar shape and twist your wrist ever so slightly so that you're using this part of your finger as opposed to this part. And that might just be enough to get those upper notes ringing. Another common mistake I often come across is students have the barring finger too close to the nut and they could afford to come sort of up a little bit more towards the second fret. Now obviously you don't want to pass that threshold of the second fret, but you can afford to be just in front of it like I am here. And let's say you're still struggling with that. Why don't you try that shape but a little bit higher up the neck? So let's if, see if you can do it on fret 7. So it's the same shape. I'll put it on screen for you. But I'm just playing it on fret 7 instead of fret 1. I'm, I say fret 7 as my root, just as F's root is fret 1. Are you getting a clean note here? And what I usually do with my students is I try and get them to walk down the bar chord to see how far they get before they start running into problems. When you're playing bar chords, try to pinch between the index finger and the thumb instead of squeezing, because what happens then is you, you tend to bend. You bend the notes out of tune. It's quite hard down here on the F, but as we could sort of come up the neck with more bar chords that you'll move on to, you'll find that you start to get, you start to bend the notes out of tune. So think of it more of a pinch instead of a squeeze. And as always with any chord, not just bar chords, make sure that you're using the very, very tips of your fingers. If you're not doing that, you are going to catch other strings and you're going to get a lot of dead notes. A common workaround that a lot of acoustic style players use is they'll play an F major 7 chord instead of a regular F bar chord. Now F major 7, it's got a really fancy name but all that it means is you put the 7th note of the F major scale on the top of the chord. So in this case, instead of barring, you're going to press. I'll put, I'll put shape on screen, so it's a 4 finger chord but we're letting this high E string ring out and it gives you this lovely works really well with C. A lot of singer-songwriter types tend to use that because it captures, especially if you're going from C to F major 7, they've both got that high E string on the very, very top and it it, it just sounds great. Half the World Away from Oasis is a great example of this where the high E at the top sort of becomes the anchor point. <laughs> So to play an F major 7, we're going to use his index finger on the 1st fret of the B. We're going to use his middle finger on the 2nd fret of the G. And then his 3rd and 4th fingers are going to go on the 3rd fret of the A and the D. Now with this chord, even though we've got a high E at the top, you don't want to play the low E at the bottom because F and E are next door to each other in the chromatic scale and it'll give you this awful overtone. <laughs> which we don't want. We want, if you like a C chord, strum it from the A string. And as always, make sure you're using the tips of your fingers. 
if you're strumming through a simple kind of three and four chord song, this is a great option. Not If you can already do the F chord, great, but it just gives you more options in your tool belt to give you different sounds. When I'm playing acoustic guitar gigs, I tend to play F major seven over the regular bar chord, just because I think it sounds a little sweeter. Please do bear in mind though, when you're using the F major seven chord instead of F, just be mindful of what key you're in. Chances are if you're using C, G, uh, F, A minor, and you're using a lot of those what I call cowboy chords, you're gonna be okay. If, you're, if you've got other bar chords, just be careful. It will work nine times out of 10. I don't know a guitarist that hasn't struggled with bar chords and specifically the F chord as it's at the bottom of the neck. Keep going, keep putting the practice in, it will come eventually. We're just waiting for your hands to develop the strength to be able to pinch all the notes without sort of getting any dead notes. If you have a look above me, you can subscribe to the Pratt Slack Pro YouTube channel. We've got all kinds of great content that you should check out. And if you've got some more time, please consider watching some of his other videos to get some great tips on playing guitar. Until I see you next time, thank you very much. Keep practicing like a pro. Cheers.